gentlemen, the Swag Life series begins tonight, October 12th, 2023, 7.36 p.m. Eastern. Is it begins? Isn't this week three? Began. Man. Yes. Oh, began. All right. yeah. Week three, Past guys. Ends. Some juicy games. It's always um, juicy. And, you know, maybe oh, this week I'm we'll get the right. full games. What? You already did. No. Uh, oh, Chase, you weren't oh, here last geez. week. Uh, we lost both games at 20 minutes. Unrecoverable. <laughs> yeah, just stop. Yeah, I saw the it's stream. Tough. It was only like 46 minutes. It was before. not good. It's tough. It was not good, but don't worry. Tonight, we got a big slate of action right now, and with any action always comes, you know, a little, little preparation. This time, a preparation comes in the form of some beautiful interviews. Let's oh. get those queued up right now. Oh. We got... Three different teams playing, three interviews. You got it right here. Stay tuned. Well, we'd start with two. We got three total. We are with Vegan Chicken's very only Pigeon Lambert. Ooh. I mean, That's everyone in, on this team loves the birds. Yeah. Clearly, this guy is Pigeon. Yeah. So, Pigeon, yeah, sure. um, you know, how do you come up with Vegan Chicken, man? Like, what is that? <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good question. So, actually, we have a roommate over here. Uh, his name is Vegetox. He's the, oh. the jungler of the team. Two years ago, he was vegan. Yeah. But I think he was very bored to be, like, vegan at this point. So, sometime when we go to the restaurant, he just called big vegan sometimes. So, when we call, like, barbecue chicken at the restaurant <laughs> say like hey it's vegan chicken you're good with that so we just start to eat chicken again that's nice. good this is, yeah that's the way that we find this name so say hey wow. do you want like vegan chicken but actually we call like fried chicken or barbecue chicken so that's it i so that's that's, that's great do. actually but the sad <laughs> part is all vegans have superpowers uh, i don't know if you saw <laughs> scott pilgrim or not but because he ate regular not vegan stuff three times he lost all his powers so uh that's it for him that's it now Done. he's now he's a normal human yeah but that is pretty great <laughs> it, it, how there's no way he believed that <laughs> there's, there's no, no that, now, he, now he's just a running guy like hey do you want vegan chicken yeah, I'll yeah. Take, uh, that's awesome yeah hey you he saved did. that man from a right? vitamin deficiency so guess, good on I, you right good i guess the you. body knows and just was okay yeah. with it at that point there, it's true. There is people that like that. They're yeah. vegan, but they're like, listen, I have. Yeah, but they're not. But, but, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like yeah exactly. Down. <laughs> <laughs> because they don't properly do it. They're not <laughs> taking supplements. Yeah. They're just no killing minerals. themselves. It's good. All right, but enough, enough politics. Yes, here. this is true. We got a game tonight. We got a game tonight uh, over here. So you're you're against a pretty good opponent right here. Yeah. What have you been doing to practice or get ready for this matchup? Yeah, so we we are a very lucky team because we have a pretty good coaching staff behind us. We have Najim with uh, 10 years experience uh, in the competitive scene, um, amateur scene, but like a lot of League of Legends behind him. And we have Paper Bag, pretty good nice. player too. So nice. We have someone to help, coaching, strategy. So we are probably starting on that. So you got the dream team. Yes, yeah. Dang. Dang, that's Very pretty quick. good. You guys that, are ready to go. You know, I don't think you have to say anything else. That's pretty good, but you know, here at the SLS, we got to make sure we get one thing settled, and that is any trash talk you want to point at the enemy teams you're playing today. So, anything you want to throw out there, how confident are you feeling today? You know, go off. Oh, yes. Um, I think <laughs> we, we love fucking just one game. And for sure, it's going to be the last one. It's going to be the only one of this season for us. So that's what I think. There you go. All right. You there tell them, man. That's that it. Works. That was good. That, works. that was good yeah. right there. All right. Well, yeah. thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we're going to see you out there. I know you're going to kill it. So take yeah, care. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Thanks a thank lot. Thank you. So. Saivon of Baked uh, something. What is it again? Roasted and Grilled. Baked, roasted, grilled. I, I mean, that's what we you're going like to do to the enemies. Oh, I hope so. Easily. Skadoosh. 
Hopefully, yeah. That's I, all I can I say. I love the confidence. Clearly, you're right. I mean, you're you're in there. You're in there. You're gonna bake them, roast them, grill them, season them, uh, clap them. I don't know. So, Sivan, what do you play, man? What do you play? What is your role in the game? Uh, my role, I'm more of like not really a mid main, so I'm kind of getting into it. But mainly, I'm trying to get better at being more proactive for my teammates. Uh, maybe not just going into lane zero zero, pushing lanes and being AFK. I need. To, I'm just trying to get better at that for my team. Proactive. You want to be active for the team. I get that. You want yeah, to get those be more plays, active. Give the teammates like something to. Hey, come do this real quick. We're gonna get some crazy shit from this. I like that. So what does that mean exactly? Is does that change your champion pool too? Yeah, my my champion pool is just push lane and. Oh, is this leaks? Maybe I shouldn't say much, but just <laughs> <laughs> later. What you but, meant to say is your champ pool is infinite. Any right, champion yeah. is Big. fair game. Yeah. So uh, all I know is he's either playing Tristana or Ziggs. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Ziggs. I yeah. I love that champ after that buff. That's really nice. Oh, it's incredible. They 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 know what they're doing over there at the oh, headquarters. For sure. Yeah. Uh, so it's great. That's kind of been the theme uh, this split and what we ran into a little bit last split is all these people are like, yeah, I'm playing 80 carry now, but I've been a mid laner for eight years or I'm playing mid lane now and I've been a top laner mm -hmm. for three years. So what, what, why did you switch? Why now mid lane? Oh, uh, so basically our team, I would just say is like just a group of friends, you know, uh, we all have our lives. It's not going to be the most dedicated practice compared to maybe some of these other teams but we're just looking to perform our best and and then uh you know just just show up like if we win that's awesome but if we lose like it's okay we were trying our best well i know one thing you don't need to prepare for is getting in some god tier trash talk so i want to hear straight from your mouth how are you going to do this game how are you going to stomp them into the ground tell me about it uh I mean, I'm just hoping they just randomly int. So otherwise, like, <laughs> I don't know. There <laughs> you know go. Gonna do it. Hey, hey, you know, sometimes you're the best ally is some good luck. So, you know, thank you so much for joining us, Ivan, and uh, we will see you out there on the rift. Good luck. All right, see ya. Ivan, right? That oh, said, damn. Uh, Wait. No, I didn't say that. So, here's what's really funny about this. This is why I love this, this matchup. Yeah. So the birds. Me. Exactly. It's a poultry 1v1 <laughs> right here. Vegan chicken. A, a cockfight, if you will. Yes, exactly. Versus baked, roasted, grilled. So all of those are things that you can do to chickens, right? I know. They both you got know, the chicken funny, logos. The vegan chicken looks shredded. Look at that comparison. Like we're talking like ever like body shaming right now. Uh, the, the grilled boys, they they got something coming to them. They're in trouble. He does actually look pretty yoked in that. Um, what do we see? Wait, what's actually happening in the game? A little, little bit of a rel Fiddle. first pick, you know? We like to see the rel first pick, you know, good flex, can be jungle, can be support, you know, mm -hmm. always gonna pick that up. And now uh, Ash, Emilio, a very irritating Ooh, lane, no really interacting with that lane. For real. No, I'm not that's going just down like there. harass, zone there. control. J4, so, you know, that flex pick's gone now. Now it's rel bot guaranteed. And the Jinx, ooh, I hear Jinx is really strong right now. I mean, every other yep. patch pretty much for her. I right? know. Well, she's back. She's back to where she was. She is insane. That's good. Because like her, that. Her, her passive, you know, get excited. It yeah. stacks now. Wait, so if you, it get, stacks. If you say you get a double kill, yep. you have two stacks of it. Yep. It's, yeah. it's oh, it, you, additive as well. Yeah, the attack so like speed, the move speed. You're just... Holy fuck. Yep. Holy and you're going fuck. over cap every time. It's nuts. God, it's damn. nuts. It's nuts. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, and uh, for that reason, vegan chicken right now. I think they have my first vote. Though the trundle pick, I do like that. You know, some countering some of the tanks out there. Um, Ari, you know, we've seen Ari do really, really well in this league so far. A very solid pick. But the Nico Yone, this oh, the, this team nice. wants to fight. Oh, yeah. That is, that is a team fight, team to a T. So many different means of engage. The Yone, the Nico, J4, Rel. I don't know how I don't know how you survive if you're an Ash, dude. If that Ash gets behind, they're gonna be in some deep trouble. For sure. Ooh, but oh, the wow, new wow, they went the splash. Oh, yeah, it looks good. No, that's the new Jax. I don't know if the rework is live yet, but I know they're, they're reworking him too. I don't think they reworked them. They might have been a visual. Um, oh, okay. Might have okay. might have been a visual VFX rework, but yeah, no. They, he needs. It, I yeah. feel like because he's oh, yeah. so strong too. Like make him look as strong as some of these other newer guys. Like give him. I some know power, he, he's looking sick. I gotta say, like but yeah. That was a really, really quick draft. We're going to be getting right into this one. Yoni versus Jack Top, you know, pretty volatile. You know, both champions that can snowball extremely hard. 
Um, mid lane matchup, Nico versus Ari, both champions that can have a huge, huge impact in a team fight. Ari with the picks, uh, Nico with the big ultimates, and uh, just having to keep track of every minion wave, too. Like, oh, wait, why are there eight minions in this cannon wave? <laughs> uh oh, right. Nico's here. Not good. She blends right in with that yep. shit. But I don't know. Most times we just tend to see uh, Nico just be red buff and walk down mid mm -hmm. at the end of the day. No, look at the top side invade coming in down here on the side of Baked Roasted Grilled. Will they find anything here? Looks like a little bit of a defensive start for Vegan Chicken. Oh, are they going to catch this out? Only Poppy in the line of fire right now. Uh -oh. Going to catch him in time. He throws the Q. <laughs> Flashes prematurely. That was probably the best choice right there. Not Disconnect. A not a lot of opportunity to get out of that one. But yeah, no, Ari not throwing the charm there. It works out. I'm not sure if he even leveled the charm, but yeah. You're not going to be down to that flash. Didn't even auto. You expect to see some jungle pressure going up there. For sure. I just realized B Wait, Red is in this game. We remember that guy oh, from B -Red. last Oh, B Red! He is Jinx. Tonight. Look at that! On Vegan Chickens. Look at that. Little B Red. It's been, it's been too long since I've seen Little B Red. I can't believe you didn't interview with us. We'll I have know. to get him the next time I he know. plays. I know. Um, that maybe, guy, maybe an exit interview. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, you never know. Miss that guy. He's a cool dude. Really chill guy. Yeah, I know. So far, you know, look, mirrored starts. Both junglers starting top side going to be pathing down towards that bot side. A little interesting to not see a bot leash uh, trying to path up to top, but it's going to work out just fine for both of them. J4 getting a little bit of edge on the clear. Jax not opting to smite his red. Or. Oh, I just realized. Bro, Wait. Jax looks scary. Trundle. Oh, Trundle. My bad. Yeah, it, it's hard to tell from this angle what champions are with. I was gonna say, why, why, why is Jackson? It's, it's just a little trundle, it's a little trundle. Can we go to top lane real quick? Yeah, yeah. Look at the bit of a. Oh, looking at move around. Stack on top. Oh, of there. yeah. Little Jack. So look, look, he looks. He looks good. He looks really good. Wow. There. It's waltzing around. All those animations and everything. He I know. Nice. It, he doesn't have like little tiny like pigeon like walk speed anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Like, do, 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 do. <laughs> nah, he's actually like, oh, bit of an oh engagement on the bot lane. The damage is coming oh, in. Helio is almost certainly going to go down. First blood going over to the rel. Beat Red winning his lane. The Jinx getting an advantage. That is not a good sign for this bot lane. But here comes Trundle. Level 2 gank. He might get something here. There's no flash on the Jinx. No ghost either. And he's going to walk him out. It looks like Rel's going to have to pay for his AD carry sins. Oh but the engage on top of it, they get some decent Ooh. damage down. Are they able to turn this one around? I don't think so. It looks like it will be the Rel falling over. They equalize that. It, kill going over to the Ash. So at the end of the day, the gold goes on to the AD carry. So a bit of an advantage for Bake Roaster Grill, if I had to say. But here comes J4. Trying to scare them off a little bit. Probably not going to turn into too much. Trundle kind of delaying his clear a little bit. Uh, J4 not opting to go for the contest. Does not have strong side on the bot. But we'll go for this gang mid, it looks like. It's going to be sitting here. Wave's about to push out. If Ari's not paying attention, this could be a burnt flash. And there it is. Going for that minion was the Q. J4 walking in. Flash, flag, and dragon. The sidestep really well played by the wow. Ari. Going to be walking out of this. Maybe one more auto attack. No. Oh, but at least he trades it over. The Nico oh, picking that one up. And it looks like the looks like she didn't even have the flash to start that one off. So, yeah, that was a really well-planned gank by J4. It's a shame he gave up his life, but at least they managed to seal the deal on that one. Yeah, clean by Ari sidestepping both yeah. CCs, the Flag and Dragon, yeah. with the Flash, and Nico's E. So that was pretty yeah, very, badass by her, actually. Very well played. You know, this guy was saying, like, oh, you know, we just play for fun. You know, it's not all about that. But he's got some skills there, you know. It's not... He's uh, being a little modest, if you ask me. Playing some mind games on him. I know. To see that. I know. And uh, top side right now, you know, Jax has a bit of an advantage in the early game because, you know, he's got that little E right there. What, what is Yone going to do? That being said, Yone is getting some good damage down on him. He's going to thin out this wave a little bit. Jax is probably just going to back off, have this wave crash in. The Yone tries to hold it and looks that Okay, I was going to say, there's no way that cam doesn't suicide there. I was like, how the hell is that wave being held? Going over the bot lane here, looks like the Ash. And the Milio have a little bit of a push advantage, but not by much. This wave is still pretty equalized. Jinx Rocket's going to be making short work of that over mid. Again, you know, uh, Nico does have the flash advantage over the Ari, so there's a bit of a play-making potential there. Maybe the J4 looks to revisit. Uh, 
I'm not sure where J4 is pathing here. Going for the Gromp, is he? Oh, he walks around. He walks around the Scuttle Crab. Oh. Not seen, but the recalls were already going off bot. They wanted a reset there. And okay, J4 is just going to go for the invade as a response. Trying to look in top here. I'm not sure how afraid Yone is of this gank. Going for a lane gank. Maybe Yone gets a little bit. Oh, look at that. Oh. The awareness, Intuition. the awareness by Yone to put that ward there, and now he knows, just back off here, nothing to fight for. Kind of sucks having him sit there, though, because the wave stacking against the Jacks, this is not where he wants to be. But it looks like Trundle is going to back off, so at least he's going to be able to absorb this EXP here. Wow, very nice. Yeah. We see J4 going in bot lane. We hopefully get something yeah, oh. going. Oh, Round. the Relegate, the double oh. stun hits. The Flag and Drag just barely not in range. The Traps also just barely missing. A battle of inches right there. That could have been the difference between a kill or not. The flash does come out from the ash, though. So that is 80 carry flash down. Going to be a point of contention. The dragon is up. That is a infernal drake. So both teams will be looking to pick that one up. And having ash down a flash is going to be key in that one. We see Trundle right now. He's looking for something. I think he got J4's Gromp. Yeah, I'm it looks not like too he, sure. It looks like he got the Gromp. Oh, it looks like oh, Yone. No. Yone wants some oh, blood up boy. here, but here comes little Trundile up here. Oh. Uh, Yone has blown his flash. It looks like possibly and the skirmish ult. earlier. No ultimate, no flash. He's just going to go for the recall. Oh my God, he just he geeked him out. He geeked him out so bad. <laughs> but I think he wins. He's fighting. Yeah, he's won. fighting by himself. This is not the fight he oh, wants. Here comes J4. It's going to be an absolute disaster. <laughs> the kill goes over to J4, and I'm not sure. How a Trundle can think he can beat a Yone two levels up on right, him. Sure, either. you sap his AD, but Yone does mixed damage. It's not going to be enough to deter him. Uh, the Jacks, though, kind of comfortable here sitting on this wave, letting a slow push, but it's not freezing. That wave's going to come right back to Yone. He's going to just go right back to base. May might even save his TP. He might just walk back to lane. Nothing really too crazy going on there. And uh, oh, the will TP. But yeah, you know, vegan, vegan Chicken doing it very well in this opening so far about 1k gold more yeah. like 500 it's in that area still pretty close i want to see some dragon movement here it is it's been up for a couple minutes at this point now seven yeah and a half hopefully at some point someone rotates i mean you want those early i dragons. mean still, you have the flash deficiency uh jinx got her flash back up so you do have that working for you you do have the ability to rotate over that being said though the ash milio lane will tends to have a bit of a push advantage you know has a little bit of lane pressure with the amount of poke they can put out the all-in, though, definitely goes to the side of the Rel and the Jigs. They have a lot of all potential. So when Ash gets level 6, that changes a little bit. Very true. What does Milio's ult do again? I don't it's something man, weird, I don't right? I can keep track of these new champions. I know. Uh, he's messy. That's all you need to know. Messy boy. I mean, that Zap didn't even do anything to him, really. Yeah, I know. He just gets his little shield. Jeez. Nothing big, nothing that big. That is a level 6 Ash. Level 6 first on her. Yeah, that's... Definitely a possibility to make some plays there, but all summoner spells are up in the bot lane. And, uh, yeah, definitely more of an aggressive move by the Jinx. And, oh, whoa, whoa, God. cut off what I'm saying. Gone. Jax is toast. Only Poppy. Only getting solo kills up here. Uh, that's that's through some ninja tabbies, too. That's, I mean, yeah, you know, scary. That's, I'm that's, scared that, of that's, Jax. You can't really build ninja tabbies against Yone with that mixed damage. It doesn't always do what you want it to do. But the auto attack... Uh, debuff is still pretty effective but yeah you know this bot this bot lane just chilling uh jinx gonna be getting her level six here j4 on the bot side but so is trundle we are about to see a clash go on right here uh, both sides waiting and look at this gonna rotate over clear some vision maybe get towards this dragon uh ari is looking over here J4 in a bit of trouble. Oh. Kind of sends something out here. Here comes the ultimate oh, by the Ash. No, the CC chain bro. is going to be absolutely absurd. He just cannot oh. move. He drags and flags, and that's not how you do it, folks. Oh. But the flash is good. The ultimate by Ari. The ultimate by the J4. The damage is huge. Rel goes over the wall, but Ari goes back the other way. Oh, the Jinx rockets wide. It's a crazy fight, and it looks like... Bake Roasted Grill, they're going to oh. come out on top, rewarded the dragon for their efforts. What a hectic fight. Holy shit. I mean, a couple of Arabs there on both sides. Yeah, that, that was something. Well, we end up with BRG grabbing that uh, dragon. Now, here Maybe. comes the Rel. I mean, there's some damage coming in. I mean, he has the spike, but he's going to die. Here comes oh. the... Oh, my God. 
She comes in. The damage. Who's going to pick it up? Oh. It resets. But here's J4 going to pick that one up. A double kill goes over for the mid laner. Absolutely oh, huge. Fuck. Here comes Jinx, absolutely beating the crap out of this Ash. Sidesteps the Zap. Whoa. One more attack will do it. And no, he gives away a kill yes. at the end of it. B-Red not being able to pick that up, but the roam by the Nico saving wow. the dragon for the team. I mean, what a back and forth there so early into the game. I love seeing shit like that. No one's doing a crazy amount of damage yet, so you can just come right in. Yep. Early respawn timers, not that long. 10, 20, no, well, 12 seconds, I want to say. Come right back to the dragon. J4 ends up getting it after fumbling. I mean, let's go. I know. Yeah. It, what it, a cool backup for him. Amazing. Oh, Ari's in some trouble, though. Oh, yeah. Here. She gets the charm, but it's not going to be enough. Here comes Yone, though, uh, mm -hmm. looking to secure this kill. Pick it up for himself. Yes, he will. Misses the ult. Doesn't matter. That's a 3v1. Ari did not sign up for that. That was not consent right there. That was a bad situation for her. I think these guys want Rift Herald very bad. They yeah. want to kill Jax first. Vegan chickens, I know they want that. I mean, y'all yeah, love definitely. I mean, they, they want everything right now. They have the tempo lead. Top and mid are both miles ahead of their opponent. Ari kind of hanging in there, gets some kills of her own. That being said, though, this Jack is getting pretty strong, being able to fight this Yone. Oh, the damage rate has been yeah. absolutely huge, though. Holy but Yone shit. is just beating on him. Look Dude. at how much damage that was. You think Jax had the advantage, but the burst from Yone was huge. But B-Red in some trouble here, chomped by the Trundle. Rel running for her life, and there we go. A little bit of an answer kill back there. No sums on to Jinx. O2, you know, a couple misplays by her. Mainly the one under the tower. That is just an unfortunate gank, so. Time but yeah. J4 to go bot, I think. I mean, we see Yone doing some insane, just ridiculous. Yeah. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 my right. lord. The synergy oh, right there. The perfectly timed ultimate with the engage by the Yone. Cross map, you don't need a shed for cross map. That is feeding your AD carry from the top lane. Beautiful, beautiful team play. Uh oh, wow. but speaking of team play, uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. How many people is that? How many jinxes? That's one jinx. Goodbye, jinx. I'll see you next time. No way they flubbed this one, right? Oh, the hero play by the rail flashes in front of the charm, saving her AD carry. A beautiful display of unity right there. Absolutely incredible. Jinx will survive, but at the cost of Rail's life. I mean, when you're on a ram, you got a whole ram to ride around. You will sacrifice yourself for the yep. little dainty lady with the minigun. I know. I you gotta know. do it. I know. Little, little petite little girl right there. She's doing some crazy stuff, and you want her alive for the fight. So, really, really good by her, you know. Keep your AD carry alive. She can still farm this wave under tower. Rel coming back two lane to help her out, and there we go. Yeah. And that being said, though, another kill on to Bake Roasted Grill. They are still keeping themselves in this game. Still about 2k down, though. So they have a little bit of ways to go before they're fully back into this one. True. They do have some progress to make. Yeah, and the Rift Herald was dropped mid there. So that's more plates going over. More gold. Uh, looks mm. like they're going to pick up that scuttle as well. Possibly looking again mid here. Yone right now is just kingdom up top lane here. He is... An absolute problem. Has his Kraken completed. Oh Two God. levels up on the Jax. It's just not a good situation to be Jax right now. I feel like eventually at some point in the game, maybe the Jax outscales, but that, that Yone is going to be an absolute problem. He is spiking really hard right now. Seriously, I mean, that Kraken and the Greaves, he only had a Noon Quiver and Greaves. I and know. He's doing a ridiculous amount of damage to the Jax. Here comes Rel with the Hex Blast. Is it going to be enough? Looking for the engage. The stun just misses. Going to walk out of there. Milio was there for... The counter gank, so good roams by both supports. Not turning into too much, but being there for your teammates is always a good thing. Uh, the top lane, you know... Uh, just don't. Yeah, just don't. Don't, don't even bother, don't. man. He's only off the creeps. Let that come back into you. You know, just farm it up. You're not there yet. Right, you just can't. Mm. I mean, you're Jax right now. I mean, I know it's so tempting to go in on this guy, but he's going to clap no, He's He's in trouble. But, but, will his hubris this come back to he bite needs. him? This here he comes needs. the little trundle man coming up here. There is a flash on him, though. The stun will land. That's some huge damage. Trundle is here. And this is going to be a... Oh, but wow. he saves his empowered Q to go over the pillar. Beautifully played. But does he expect round three? Here comes Ari coming in. The charm. Will she hold it? And it misses. The Everfrost. And Whoa. one HP. No way. No way. Oh, my God. No way. No way he turns that one around. Absolutely incredible play by little Poppy up here. Jeez, Only Poppy. Man. That's all I'm looking at right now. A beautiful outplay. Oh. Taking Ari from basically full HP. Just gets enough shield, enough heal, and there it is. What an incredible outplay. Holy shit. 
only Poppy showing us how to play Yone right now, no matter what happens. This guy is going off. I want to see some more of this guy tonight in this game. No kidding. Oh, no shit. kidding. Oh, you know, he, he's feeling himself right now. A little bit of animation canceled, pushing this wave out. He runs this game right now. Going to be getting his IE real quick. Going to be making some absolutely incredible plays. This tower, gone. See ya. Another tower dead. They are just running the game right now, and this game's getting slowly out of hand. And we see him grabbing the second dragon, too. I mean, they don't even need that many people. No one is even near it. They're just going to grab yeah. that. We see, who is that? Milio. <laughs> he thought about it. He yeah, wanted that he little brush. Thinking, but... He was thinking, but, you know, they're just running the rift right now. There's too much of a gold advantage in mid and top. Even bot, you know, B-Red getting back into this one, picking up some kills here and there. Kraken's all over the place. Jeez. Both teams just incredibly strong in the early, but the edge going to vegan so right. far. 5k gold, another tower is going to increase that even more, and we see some invades at this point. I mean, this is tough right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you don't have a jungle anymore. That's all of your outers gone. The tempo is just not in your favor. This J4 had the support of his entire team. The mid laner and the support just letting him get whatever he wants. AD carry pushing up too. And uh, oh, top this lane is, though. This could turn into something. They're going to rotate three people up here. Is it going to be enough? I think it will. Yone fighting for his life. The ultimate hits two people. The damage is there, but he flashes out, and that's going to be Yone finally falling. The shutdown goes Trundle's way, and three people committed, and they get what they need. A big 650 gold shutdown onto the Ari. Going to be doing good work with that gold. Just CC that guy. Or the Trundle, I mean, sorry. Yeah, that's a. He Look. dashes around yeah. everywhere, but you'll give him the charm. I know. That, I think the charm missed there, but either way, you still got the jab. There's a lot of CC. Strike. There's a lot of CC. Counter-Strike can layer into the charm, into the Everfrost. You know, he can not move for quite an extended period of time. But Do, do that again, you know. Yeah, you know, he's not quite at a 1v5 level yet. 1v2, sure, he can do that all day. But maybe not quite there. Not yet. Not yet, at least. A couple more minutes, right? Not yeah. yet. I'm sure Jax would have loved to get that shut down there, finish off his Mythic, but oh, man. he'll be content pushing the rest of this wave out. He probably has enough gold to get his Mythic at this point. He has all the components. Getting his Sunderer on that back will feel pretty good for him. Oh, this oh they're here. They're ready for this little trap right here. The Trundle flashes out, gets away from the traps, and a really nice play right there by the bot lane, just rotating mid here, sitting for the Trundle, knowing his recall timer, and getting his flash out not a bad play at all it looks like they are going to be looking top lane again for the yona they're really trying to shut him down here get jack back into this game still two levels down oh huge damage coming in onto rel ari getting the electrocute off and big damage following it and maybe we're posturing for a fight here all members are on the top side except for nico but she does have teleport second rift not even on the table right now not nothing really to fight for at the moment so kind of confusing to see all these people stacking up here. Maybe looking for a play. Maybe Big Roads of Guild looking to maybe get back into the game. We're not sure. But they're going to be going for the invade right here. Taking away the Raptors. Trundle, though, sticking around. Maybe a little too long. He will get the big Raptor. So the majority of the gold goes to him. But a lot of wards getting into the enemy jungle. Yone going in. He doesn't care. He can go right back to his clone. Doesn't matter. Pretty big damage. And it's going to do... Rift Herald on spawn. They're ready for it. They are 100%. Whole team's here. Rotated. Ari is bot lane with teleport. So maybe if they want to look for a play, they'll go for it. But I don't see it happening here. Jax no looking vision. around. No, there is. There's a, there's a ward on there. For the Jax, I mean, like, yeah. they wouldn't know, I guess. Yeah, I guess. But it, they're not going to do anything. They, yeah. they know that if they pick a fight here, they have no chance of winning. They are just too far behind. That is going to be another Rift falling, possibly looking to drop that on the mid lane here. Really, really pry the map wide open. A red buff's going to be falling. They're going to be giving that one up. The entire jungle is in a bad state right now for Baked Roasted Grill. They are just in a bad state in general. Moving up top here, yeah, do they want this jacks. tower? They might, they they might the go rift, to take right? this one too. Yeah, they might go to take, take this one, really try to suffocate this Jax out here. Possibly, but no. They're going to save that. They're probably going to save that for mid. Maybe save that for the upcoming dragon coming up. You know, coming up in a minute, you drop that one mid. You have two things the team has to worry about. You know, they can't just full focus on the dragon. Trundle will pick up the scuttle, though. They will have vision in the river, so that's going to be an advantage for BRG. But yeah, this dragon fight could be huge. Uh, this might be an opportunity for BRG to get back into this game, but 
if vegan chicken properly sets up for this one, I don't think there's any shot. The amount they're ahead is just astronomical. Yeah, definitely in the wrong areas um, for BRG, too. Like, you don't want the Yone, no. the Nico, and no. the Jinx all to have some No, they got some gold big gold right now. That, uh, yeah, Yone just bought IE. I mean, that's, yeah, that's, and that's huge. That is right where you want to spike, minutes. right with a dragon fight coming up. Has the teleport for that fight, too. So we can just go top and occupy Jax for a little bit. And uh, no one is going to say no to him. Dragon coming up. It looks like Vegan Chicken has all control over this river, minus the Scuttle. They have all positioning right here. They can just do it on spawn, but, you know, they're not going to throw the game. They're going to play this smart, get the waves pushed out, get some pressure on the map. J4 probably looking to drop this rift here. Definite possibility. Maybe just going to rotate right over to the Dragon. They have the wave pushed out. Oh, and Trundle is top, so this is a pretty much guaranteed oh Dragon. But can Trundle oh. get out of here? No, he wow. cannot. Huge damage coming in, and that is the Sunderer completed on Jax. Two Sunderers just ate through his health bar. He'll die, but the dragon will put Vegan Chicken at soul point. So it's noble sacrifice by the One for sure. Absolutely. I mean, I guess the Jax and Trundle all kind of kept them alive. They both have yeah. that Sunder and Tabby's, like you said. Exactly. Well, steel caps, but he didn't do too much damage right there. He no, 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 no. Yeah, that would be... That's the way to do it, I guess. That was definitely a really nice play. I, you know, you say, oh, you lose the dragon, not the best, but are you winning a 5v5 fight? Probably not. So at least get something across the map. Get your Jax back into this game a little bit so he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this Yone possibly on the sideline. But my fight may be breaking out in bot here. They're trying to push this tower. A huge amount of damage goes over, but I think that Rift Herald is going to fall. They're not going to quite connect. But B-Red is beating on this mid tower. He's almost certainly going oh, to get it fun. before they can get over here. And that will be mid-tower falling. A really nice play. A little bit of a misdirection, you know. They throw the Rift bot, but it's mid-tower they actually wanted. And they take that without issue. A little bit tricky. Yeah, in, a little, little tricksy. Tricksy. And, you know, honestly, we've seen some good uh, Ash Ultimates this game. But really not as many as I was expecting. I feel like she should be throwing that thing out as much as she can. Uh, we just have not seen it too often. It is a super low cooldown. Yeah, it's, it's not like what it used to be. It used to be like a two, two and a half minute cooldown. But now it's like... You get, like, that thing maxed out. You're, you're looking at, like, a minute cooldown. You know, Jeez. it's a lot less than what it used to be. So they're going to have to look for some plays to get back into this. They just start the bear and, like, hey, get your ass over here. We want to fight. We're sick of waiting. And here it is. Yone with the engage. The J4. The oh, Nico's massive. absolutely massive. Four people. J4 on top of it. This fight could be an absolute wipe, and it looks like it is going to be. That being said, the Ash is pretty well protected, but so is the Jinx. The auto attacks are going in. The damage is huge. The... Oh, it looks like it's going to be a, ah, it's going to be enough right there. The damage is coming in. The Ari trying to get out. Same with the Ash. They're chasing. They're on low HP. B Red. One more will do oh. it, but he predicts the ultimate's going the wrong direction. Two people are going to get out. A four for three, no no a three for, one. three for one. Three for one at the end of the day. Three for one at the end of the day, and that will also be Baron going over. So yeah, you know BRG had to come face check the Baron, and that turned into no, what? Yeah, he's on the back. He's oh, that's not spikes. good. Yeah, that's an early Baron mistake right there. That is, that's not great. Oh, they they can't compete the this. No, no, they don't have time for this, but the traps go down. They stop the Baron. I don't think they can get it themselves, so no real harm done. But, yeah, just more gold going over to the side of Vegan Chicken. But BRG, stop the Baron. Um, they don't get the credit for the kill on Yona, unfortunately, because he died in the pit. Mm. Kind of, kind of crazy, if you ask me. But you yeah, can't yeah. sit in the back and take the spikes. Yeah, you well, need some life you know, you know, tank or he, something. He showed you that he, you can. You definitely can. He did it. <laughs> he did. He done did it. But he's got his Caulfield hammer. He's probably gonna be getting a death stance here. I would imagine. Get that life steal you're talking about. That'd be good for him. That'd be very good for him. He likes that. Yeah, dude. It is. Uh, it's still a game, though. You know, 5K gold it hasn't ballooned too much since, like, about 10 minutes ago. True. It's not been much the of a difference. Same it's lean. been fairly stable. They're looking for an engage here. J4 oh, wow. extending himself really far. The Nico ultimate oh, on top of it. That is going to be huge damage coming in. Here comes the Trundle on the backside. Same with the Jacks. But they are mismatched. They are not going in at the same time. This is going to be an absolute wipe of a fight. Here comes Yone as well. Ash is getting his oh. butt beat. Destroyed. That is five alive to one on the enemy team. And that is going to rotate right over into a Baron. That's the real Baron fight right there. I mean, destruction from Vegan Chicken. No, yeah. They, they, they just realized they have a go button. They can just chase them down. They already blew all their summoners. Let's just go in there, take them all out, and then just get this Baron for free. 
and that's exactly what they did. A huge, absolutely huge game by uh, Pigeon Lambert so far. 6-0-5. I mean, this Nico is a freaking monster. We talked about Yone all game, but, I mean, Nico just yeah. finding these huge fights, like two-man, three-man, four-man ults. Maybe they need to see a five-man ult the way this is going. But good Lord. Doing some serious work. Huge work. And that, I mean, that alt, mm. it it just, it the claps. range on it, yeah. you knock them up. You slam them down for a bunch mm -hmm. of damage. Then you got the E to follow up. The Q has a smaller area, but yep. you hit a champion who's doing a bunch of damage yeah, to it's, them. It's what a strong. It's crazy, kit. and you know we don't even see a, that much magic pen. We don't see any magic pen coming from her yet. No void, no rabadons. You know she's only going to increase her damage from here, and that is going to be an absolutely scary sight. What's also scary, they got the Baron on their team and a dragon coming up. Soul point. Wow. It's time. Cloud soul. BRG's got to do something. They got to do something. Whether they try to transfer uh, something else, do they not even fight the Cloud Soul? They're not afraid of it, but ah, they can't even walk up right now. All the wards getting cleared. Going to be borderline impossible for them to walk up cleanly. They're going to get all their waves pushed out. No chance of them funneling in. But they do attempt to walk up. They walk up. That's all five. They see Jinx mid, so they know they're not full strength. They're going to try to vie for some leverage here. The Jack's walking up, though, is not going to like what he finds. But he gets out, pops the Counter-Strike, and boom, a huge ultimate oh. by the Yona. J4 on top of it, and it's going to be another wipe. It looks like, but Jax is on the back line. The Jinx is going to be free hitting, though. The back, both back lines are falling, and it looks like it's going to be too, too much. The Ash and the Argon have to run for their lives. Here comes Jinx. She is excited. She's <laughs> got stacks on stacks of her passive, and she's going to walk right back to her team. The Ghost with the stacks on her passive. She's, she's she is chugging. Around. She's chugging all over the place. But yeah, no. That is going to be a clean fight right there. Three for nothing. The dragon going over. J4 looking for Ari here. They're going to push this one out. Probably get an inhibitor. And uh, this game is all but over. I mean, very nice dragon fight on the side of vegan chickens there. They secure the soul. It's now 27 minutes. They're pushing this inhib tower. Yep. I mean, this minion alone is going to do a bunch of shit. Look at him cover it. That's <laughs> Let him keep going for the next wave. Look at it. Oh, the Emilio, whatever. Yep. Oh, oh, but a flash play by the Ari. Know you know, that. a desperation play. You got to see those from time to time. B-Red almost falling over. So, you know, it almost worked out. You know, get a little bit of gold back for your team. But at the end of the day, it's going to be too little too late. You know, you got to go for those plays a little bit early if you want to try to get your team back into it. But right now, it's just, it's too much. It's too much for them to handle. They're going to push on to this inhibitor. Maybe staying a little bit too long. They do have low health bars. The Ash is poking them down, but the Baron will be enough. They're going to take down that inhibitor. Another tower falls bot. They're going to go back, reset, look for more. But here comes Jax on the flank here. But the root by the Nico is enough. But here comes Trundle, the Flash, the Q, the Pillar. And that's going to be a big shutdown going over to Jax. Jinx will fall. But is it going to be enough? The damage coming in. Oh, the J4 man. gets the knockup down. The Trundle will fall. The rest of the team not too far behind. Oh. Another knockup coming through. J4 just cleaning this one up. Pigeon Lambert survives that whole time. Dealing out the damage. Here comes Ari, but this inhibitor is almost certainly going to fall. And this game is all but over. Yeah, I think that is the, as they say, last nail in the coffin yeah. almost. Um, I will say, though, a nice play by the Jacks to find that little uh, pick off there. But they just kept going, and there was just no way... That J4 was going to keep finding those picks. And it was just it was a real masterclass here by this mid lane. But this Nico just ne never going to die this game. Just perfect score. Leading the game almost in CS. Just just dealing out the damage. Carrying every team fight she's in. Just extremely well done. Yeah, incredible playmaker mm -hmm. uh, for every team Where fight is that we've she? seen. Uh, she's in that river. Oh, right she's now. in the river. Okay, I thought she was like trolling around there doing a little minion you haven't really seen her use her passive too much this game which is probably a good thing you know that's that tends to troll more than uh <laughs> it helps you out it ends up being just a little yeah. bit of a gimmick i feel like when you a have little a little bit of a gimmick but if you're not paying attention in a stress game like this you can definitely get one over on the enemy absolutely team. and uh yeah that is going to be oh, just uh one one rod one rod she doesn't have that much gold yet And here they are pushing out the top lane here. Uh, this is going to be systematic at this point. 
Do we see a final push from BRG at this tower? The Yone getting some damage in. Jack's gonna get out of there, though. But still, Yone still going in, getting some poke damage down. A huge ultimate by the Rel. The Nico coming in as well. Four, man! It's going to be absolutely huge. Two fall. Another, sure, to follow. The Jinx is popping off, and the damage is there. The towers are going to fall. The Ari barely survives, and that is going to be Vegan Chicken picking up the win on this one. But it wouldn't be a win if B-Red didn't in right at the end. Beautiful play by him. The J4 dives as well. Uh, maybe the game doesn't actually end here. They dove quite a bit, but there's enough people alive. The inhibitors are down. The Nexus will fall, and that will be Vegan Chicken picking up that game. And that game was so crazy. My other casters just died. They're gone. I, I, it's just me. The rest... I, I mean, I will admit that was a absolute masterclass by vegan chicken you know they they had their goals that game soul laners got fed out of their minds that nico whoo absolute unit throughout that one an absolute unit all teams you know you know it was just good it was a good game by both sides you know um brg had their moments they had some picks here and there you know but at the end of the day the goal was just too much all the objectives went the side of vegan chicken and they just took that one it was just an extremely solid game and uh yeah I don't have anything more to say. I got nothing more to say. There's nobody here. It's just me. And I got to go rally my boys back up. We're going to go to a quick commercial break and get you into the next game real soon.